Oh, we're getting we're getting avowed first and foremost. Hell yeah. I'm so glad this is the one they started off with. Ah, Phil's Eternity 2, Deadfire. Such a good game. I'm excited about this game, guys. Like, so Welcome excited. Welcome to Obsidian Entertainment. I'm so proud to share with you our upcoming fantasy action RPG, Avowed. Avowed is an adventure into the heart of the living lands, a frontier at the edge of the known world. Looks good. Where you must put a stop to a mysterious spiritual plague and discover a secret at the heart of the living lands. Oh, I freaking love it. At Obsidian, we love creating worlds with deep themes, dynamic gameplay, and thoughtful reactivity. And Avowed is no different. We set out to blend the believable and fantastical to give players a world and experience like no other. It's colorful, it's vibrant, it's strange. It's one of the most incredible settings in the world of Aora. There's going to be a lot of great secrets to discover, one of which has a really personal connection to you as the player character, and you're going to have a great time getting to know those secrets and leaving your mark on the world. And when it comes to encounters, our combat brings the best of the moment-to-moment -moment fun that comes with action-oriented gameplay oh, and the depth oh, and breadth uh, uh, of choice that you wand, get with an RPG. Wand and a sword. Oh, Here what to was talk that? more about about that? combat is Gabriel Paramo, gameplay director. All right, show me more, Here please. Here at Obsidian, our team's overarching goal is to empower you with choice. So we developed a flexible combat system that allows you to quickly swap from spell casting and sharpshooting to melee combat. Oh, we want to give you the wand. freedom to mix and match wand. your loadout to yeah. fit the way you want to play yeah. from moment to I'm moment. I'm loving the look of the combat so far. For Very battles, Skyrim style. You can combine a variety oh, is it a of pistol? weapons, attacks, Fuck yeah, and abilities for tactical advantages <laughs> against a wide range oh, of enemy charged types. Up the wand. It's not just hacking and slashing. You're making real-time decisions about when to use your abilities. So remember the, remember the attacks, pistols from the blocks, from Dead Fire and parries, stuff. You could have a pistol and a, and a rapier and special attacks. Oh, that looks so good. If you choose to approach combat with a one-handed wand, it feels quick and snappy when dealing damage to enemies at mid-range. Using the Tanglefoot ability, you can stop enemies in their tracks, giving you the opportunity to focus on weaker or tougher combatants in an intentional and controlled manner. Phenomenal. It's important to pay attention to the types of enemies you're dealing with. Some units are extremely defensive, some are brutishly difficult, and others you must make sure you prioritize or their healing capabilities will put you in a tough spot. Sweet. To help with the different encounters you will face, we provide customizable loadouts that can be quickly switched to Oh, the pistol. That means you can play however you want. Equip a sword and shield and charge into battle. Dual wield pistols that was a cool and charge. control the encounter mid range. Dual wield pistols? Or even what? dual wield wands to dual feel wield like a gunslinging mage. What? You could use your enchanted wand to freeze enemies and then use your offhand weapons power attack to shatter them. We've worked hard to keep you constantly engaged as battles unfold by creating a balance between phenomenal. pressure and manageability during combat. Players will have ample choices for how to build and Hang on, guys. I'm switching Players over will to have ample choices for how to build for some reason, and progress it was at 720. their envoy I was like, in the world of the living lands the as they get to know the game and the story and explore the many diverse regions. Some that looks quests in Avowed will have you make difficult decisions with profound consequences. Like this side quest you may encounter in Shatterscarp, the third region you'll explore on your journey through the living lands. As you're exploring, you come across the bodies of these fallen soldiers. And as you explore the remains of the battle, it's up to you to determine who, if anyone, is at fault. Just the four of us. Manu, Kiri, Naoki, and me. Training under Captain Ruiki. Trying to keep the Herborn safe. In other words, you're a gang of vigilantes. Not that I'm one to judge. Here. Take Old my badge. Valeria. Take everyone's. Our families deserve to know we fought and died for them. Making the right choice isn't always what it seems. We embrace moral nuance and gray areas, yes. trusting players to make tough decisions Obsidian in complicated Obsidian has always situations. done great storylines. So. My, my squad and I rested in the cave by the water last night, and as we were sleeping, we were ambushed by those miserable Zorips. I was so surprised, and it was so dark. I just got separated from everyone else. Look, I, I, I can't face those monsters alone. But I have to know if anyone else made it out. Of course he did. Sergeant Asui never has a thought he won't say out loud. So what did he tell it's you? It's Obsidian. I'm going to buy that it no matter Captain what. Ruiki I play everything sick? they produce. That I was paranoid? That I was a dumb baby? I heard it all often and loudly. Wait, if you found Sergeant Asui, 
Why is he not here with you? What happened? At the end of the quest, you have a choice. When you confront Private Naoki, if you believe the story he's told you, you can hand over the badges and let him go back home. You're right. Real battle isn't something you can prepare for, is it? It's not my fault. No, they... They should have never have camped in the cave. I'll take the badges. I'm going back to Third Born. But if you confront him, if you believe that he fled the site of the battle as an act of cowardice, then he might challenge you to a fight to reclaim his honor. Either way, when you return to town, you'll see the consequences of your actions and the choices you made during this quest. Creating an immersive experience like Avowed is anchored in the world we build. Art director Matt Hansen and the team have worked to create a unique, colorful, and dynamic visual style. From the outset, we knew that we wanted a vowed setting to feel rich, weird, and wonderful. We found inspiration oh, in a wide swath of real-world cultures, helping us create a unique RPG experience. By contrasting the vibrant with the dull, or verdant spaces with sickly ones, we can better deliver complex emotional experiences for our players. The Living Lands is a continent of untamed valleys with widely varied biomes, from luxuriant forests to volcanic wastes. And each of those regions itself is a conflux of storied it's a completely landscapes. completely different area that we've not seen before. All of in the, the regions have a games. lot of special things associated with them, but I have a deep place in my heart for Shatterscarp. As you're wandering the wastes of Shatterscarp, you might notice off in the distance a vibrant jewel of color. By transitioning from destitute, muted tones of a wasteland of sand and marching in towards a beautiful oasis, there's the opportunity there for life, for adventure, and even a little danger. We hope you've enjoyed this look at Avowed. We're thrilled to share more about the game in the coming months, and we can't wait for you to explore the living lands when Avowed launches this fall. All they said was fall. They still haven't, they, they have not announced the release date. They did say fall. So. That's good to know that I can target the fall for my schedule. All right, so we know that that's coming in the fall. That's about, that's gonna be great. That's a, okay, cool. I'm gonna need to, um, all it says is fall 24. Okay, perfect. Oh, I can't wait.